We are back with more random battles to the top. We are currently in the 2200 and we are playing 7 games today and hopefully we can hit 2300. The goal is top 10. So if we look at top 10, it's currently 2404. So we're getting closer but we're still kind of far away. Okay, they're 2232 and we are 2230. So a pretty good matchup. So we do have a complete counter to Kiram and Sloking. It does have Toxic too. I do have to be careful about Freeze Dry. In fact, doesn't Lunala beat Kiram 1v1? It definitely does. Because of Shadow Shield and Calm Mind. Should I throw off an attack? If they have a Dark type, I'm not down too bad. But at the same time, I don't have a switch in. I'm just going to Psy Shock for damage, try and scout what they do have a Dark type, okay. In fact, they have a complete counter to Lunala. And it outspeeds my entire team. No, it doesn't. We have speed, but we don't have a like we don't have a normal resist besides Lunala, which doesn't really count. We're gonna get hit by knockoff. I think I go to Persian on knockoff. I'm I'm comfortable. Okay. Now do I U-turn? Do I play rough? I can U-turn into maybe Cramorant sacrifice. Maybe mm, that's not fun either. I can play rough for damage. I don't value Persian speed a lot because I do have fast Pokemon. I have Thunderous, I have Toxtricity with Choice Scarf. And if I can get Obstagoon down, maybe Lunala can be good. So I'm going to play rough for damage. I'm going to lose Persian here. That's not a lot, but we're going to lose... Oh, we don't even lose Persian. Okay. That's great. We don't even lose Persian. So we're going to get a lot of damage. 23, good. We lose one Pokemon, but we remove probably the biggest threat. Uh, easy Volt Switch if they have a Ground type, I don't care. We have Thunderous with Grass Knot and we have Sloking. Let's go to Thunderous here, put the pressure on. We we show gra we, we look like a Grass Knot Pokemon. We'll throw off a knockoff. Into Kyurem White, okay. So that Toxic is going to be annoying for Lunala. But I like the odds here. Easy teleport. They should probably go to Obstagoon, I think. Or should I Scald? I can Scald. They wouldn't have Ice Beam and Freeze Dry. I'm gonna Scald. Looks like a free Scald opportunity. I They go to... They have two Dark types. Okay, this is a terrible Lunala matchup. I have to change my plan. Or maybe I don't... Okay, I do have to change my plan. I was thinking that... Hmm... So do I... Like, Stone Edge Crunch is really painful. I don't have a switch into that. It'll hit everything. I can Scald? Then what's my... How do I try and win this game here? I Scald for 42 more. Then I can Revenge Kill with Toxtricity. That is an option. But... I guess that's not terrible. Yeah, that's not terrible. We can Scald. Okay, we're gonna not even- they're not even gonna Dragon Dance, which is good. We get the double burn. I'm thankful. We'll go to Cramoran and trigger Gulp Missile here. With a Surf. Okay. Obstagoon. I'm happy, right? I'm definitely happy with- how does Gulp Missile work exactly? Okay. When hit- Attacker takes 1-4 damage, so I'm going to roost off the damage here. Or I'm going to die in one hit, but we do trigger the Gulp Missile. So both Dark Types are gone. Lunala is in play. I'm going to lead Sloking because of Swampert, which did end up happening. If we trade Toxic, I'm happy. If we trade Toxic, I'm happy. Okay. Let's teleport out now. Back to Thunderous. We do threaten Grass Knot again. Um, do I straight up superpower? Ah, I could have grass not there. But we do we do give the impression that we weren't. So now Lunala I mean we've revealed four Pokemon, so they, they know they have to be careful around Lunala around Lunala. And this has Sucker Punch too. That's really unfortunate. Um which is faster. So Toxicity does outspeed. They're going to Dragon Dance. I'm going to go straight to Toxtricity. They go to Kyurem White. That also makes sense. That was not a like a bad decision or anything. Volt Switch. Hmm. 
Do I go to Lunala with Roost, maybe? Let's try Slowking first. Yeah, and I, I'm the reason I'm okay with Slowking is because Flapple beats it anyway. Toxic. Oh, dodged. Okay, I mean, we we did like what? We got double Skull Burn. I'm okay with that. Yeah, Nunala comes in looking really good. I suppose I Moon Guys for damage on Flapple coming in, yeah. Okay. Great damage. We do outspeed. We threaten Sucker Punch. Should I go to Toxtricity? I feel like Flapple might Dynamax here too. Do I Dynamax then? If I Dynamax, I would live Sucker Punch. Do I Dynamax here? Sacking Thunderous is not a bad idea. But yeah, we can sacrifice Thunderous here. The Dragon Dance. Uh, we dodged that, but I was planning on fainting to go to Toxtricity. But we do get the lucky dodge. Okay. We do have Lunala. So Lunala is just a great Pokemon here. Probably can Calm Mind and win. Uh, we'll sacrifice Slowking first. Critical hit. That's fine. Now let's go for the win. If they have one more dark type, they're gonna go they're going for freeze, and that means we've won. Ah oh. Okay, come on. That is so strong too! Should we Dynamax and hope for the unfreeze? Toxtricity is never beating Kyurem. We have to go for the unfreeze here. Ah oh, no, that's terrible. Oh. Whatever. Okay. I mean it happens. They went fishing. It, it was going to happen. That's fine. We'd lose 20 points on the freeze there. Lunala definitely won without freeze, but they did attempt it two or three times. We got double Scald Burn. All in all, it's fine. Just really annoying. Uh, whatever. We'll toxic. Oh, why did I sacrifice a Pokemon? Oh, I'm tilting. I'm tilting right now. Okay. We'll spore the switch in. Or not. Or not. Or not. Hmm. We have to dodge. No? Okay. I mean, we don't have an Earth. We don't have a switch in anyway. We have Claydol with Ice Beam, though. Okay, good. We lose two Pokemon for one. And. The rest of the Pokemon we have are not good, but... Okay, Drampa. Your time to shine. E yeah, I think you can do it. I don't hate Toxic Croak. We have like three Skeptile counters. Substitute can be annoying. Oh no, they would never substitute on Hyper Voice, so I'm... Should I predict? Should I predict? Oh, they would substitute on Hyper Voice, okay. Good to find out. Then... Easy dodge. Throw off a Fire Blast here on another substitute. Okay. Berserk Trigger Fire Blast. There we go, good. They go to Metagross. I do have to be careful about weakness policy. I'm just going to Thunderbolt. They're probably going to Agility here. Okay. That works. Okay. okay. So we gain our advantage back. We have a 4 on 3 now after the bad start. Uh, nothing more besides dropping a Draco. Okay. What are they doing? Now I'm in trouble. I have to think this has Grass Knot. Don't I? I can try- oh, if I lower speed that triggers Defiant, but I'm okay with that. So I lower speed once, and then I Hailstorm. Or I lower speed... Guard? Okay, they're gonna ooze here, that's fine. Lower the speed. Guard once, and hope it doesn't have Grass Knot. Probably has Knock Off. 
No, no, this is Prankster. It has Thunder Wave. Okay, good. We have the Hailstorm coming in. So we've hopefully successfully gotten through. They could have anything in the back, though. We have no idea if they have, like, a Threatening Sweeper. We have to hope. They have Toxapex, okay. And we... We don't match up. Yeah, we have we have Toxic Croak, okay. Yeah, we have Should I go to Celebi? Probably not. We'll go to Toxic Croak. Swords Dance. And Thunderous cannot one hit KO. Even if this has Haze, I think we do beat it 1v1. So Lazzle straight up, okay? So, it looks like Celebi wins the match. Okay. Ooh, that lived. Okay, but Hale got it. That's good. I believe Celebi should win the match from here on out. Because, yeah, Psychic is too strong here. Okay, that didn't work. Go Celebi first on the recover here. Because why not, if they're always going to recover. And this should break through here. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we definitely break through now. Oops, I forgot about Baneful Bunker. This might get sweaty now. This may or may not KO, they go to Thunder, is okay. That's, oh, that's really weak, okay. Played all with Earthquake predicting a switch. They're never going to sacrifice Thunderous here. Or I could go to Celebi maybe. Um, I'm not Earthquake. I am terrible. I don't know why I did that. Well, I know why, but it was just not a good decision to do it. Okay. Now we win 1v1. I mean, 3v1, but... Yeah, I got lucky dodging Focus Blast, but... I mean, if, if you, like, dodging Focus Blast is, you know, whatever. We gained 15 points for that game, let's keep going. 1-1. One and one. Alright, Game 3, bad lead matchup. Oh, not bad. So, sh we have the god Magirna. Oh, Magirna wins everything, it's so good. Should I Stealth Rock here? I'm gonna Stealth Rock with Focus Sash. Don't burn me. Okay. Now Feeny is a counter. And I think trading Doug Trio for Stealth Rock is a fine decision. Ooh, they have Noivern. That's good. So two Pokemon weak to Feeny. This has Poison Jab. And this is a Pokemon weak to Megirna. Okay. Three Pokemon weak to Megirna now. Should I Agility? Let's go for it. Fire Blast isn't... Okay. So Nido Queen is the one annoying thing about here. I could Calm... I think I would need to Calm Mind first. It's not a good, good idea to go for the win here. Let's just go to Audino. Get a knockoff. If we can remove Life Orb, that'll be huge for Magirna late game. Okay. Life Orb gone, that is amazing. We'll wish. No reason not to. And Tapu Fini looks good. Magirna looks good. Definitely a really good matchup. Uh, so Dugtrio is dead. We can go straight up knock here. Into Keldeo. Great. Never gonna break Fini. We'll just wish. They might secret sword. They might try and predict Tapu Fini. Yeah, that's nothing. They might try and predict Tapu Fini. Or they might try and predict Protect too. Indeed, he's not great because of the skunk tank. We'll go straight to Fini. We do have Defog on Fini. Yeah, Magirna looks like a nightmare to handle. 
the double fairy, this could be... Their rating is 2293, so just a hopefully really bad matchup for them. Um, I'm gonna go to Adino instead of Magirna, just in case I try and predict it. Should I Skull? I'm gonna serve predicting Nidoqueen. Because they have to be really scared of- yeah, exactly. They had to be really scared of Magirna. Yeah, this is just unwinnable matchup for my opponent. Because there was so much pressure that Magirna can take advantage of a Skunk Tank, they had to make that Nidoqueen predict on Magirna. It was- they had to do it almost, it felt like. And we were able to predict that there. Yeah, this is looking really good. More Pico. This is Electric Light. Should I make the risky play and go to Doug Trio? Audino is always safe. I'm gonna make a risky play. Audino is always safe and I could go for it, but... This should be fine too. No, this is a, that's a terrible idea. I'll always make the safe play. I don't need to risk anything. What, do I, what am I thinking about right now? Yeah, exactly. Good thing I didn't do anything stupid there. Uh, everything is free here. Toxic is free. Knockoff is free. Wish is free too. Well, Toxic. Didn't work out, but no harm. Now we get a knockoff. Defog, Crunch, Poison Jab, Toxic is what I'm believing. And they disconnect, so probably they know what's up. I'll pause the video. Okay, they do Rage Quit, and uh, for those of you watching, try not to leave the game, it's just annoying for everyone. Bad matchups are a part of random battles, just forfeit if you're going to lose instead of wasting everyone's time. Just as a sportsmanship type thing, because you will always have bad matchups in random battles every once in a while. So no need to waste everybody's time there. Alright, here we go. Ooh, they are raided. How much are they rated? I can't... Scro oh, I missed it. 2263. Now, unfortunately, our entire team is weak to... Our entire team is weak to T-Spikes, unfortunately. Okay, T-Spikes don't go up, but that was a terrible play. We'll go to Pinsir now. This can have Willow too, which is annoying. It does have T-Spikes. Okay, we're off to... How do we win? We have to win probably with Calorie, because that's the only way I think we can win. Should I knock off first to remove like a physical? Let's knock off first. Okay, that's good damage. We will very likely get Willowed here. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, it's not fine, but we, what are we going to do about it? Okay, we're going to have to go for the Calorix Ice win. That's the only... That's very likely the best way to win. Uh, Seismitoad is a counter. 251, yeah, Seismitoad is a counter. We have two counters, in fact, but... Mm. Okay, so we're gonna get, hopefully, a lot of damage? Yeah, one hit KO. Okay, six on four, but we do have the T-Spike disadvantage, and I did throw away Blissey for no reason. So, good news, Calrix does have a good type matchup. Bad news, Landorus is really fast. I feel like Blissey is less valuable at this point. We'll get rid of it. That lived a hit. Wow. Should I do it now? Or should I attack now? Is there a, Will I get a better time than now to Trick Room? Okay. I don't think we Dynamax yet. Not yet. Maybe I should've. Okay, they're gonna Aqua Jet. No, they're gonna make a Predict. Yeah, they're making good Predicts. Oh, uh, we're gonna hit, get hit by Moon Geist Beam 2. And that Lando is causing issues for any Draco's old ideas. The Moon Geist is incoming. We can't do anything about it. We'll lose Seismitoad. They Roost, okay. Let's go to Pinsir, then we can knock off Lunala. Okay. They go to Crawdont. I am happy with this trade. Removing the priority Pokemon, good for me. 
Lando does outspeed. Lando's a threat and a half. We'll remove the life orb. Or we'll get crit. We go to Zygarde now. If we can... They don't know we have Bolt Beak in the back. So if they give up Lando, that could be great. Okay. Here's a tough moment. 23. Smacked. Quake. We live. Okay. The guard. That's fine. Do we win with Outrage Draco's ult into Calyrex? We don't, I don't think. But... Oh, Max Knuckle. So Calyrex will get knockoff will one hit KO Calyrex now. Lunala, we're trapped. Ooh, come on. What is our strategy here? Is it the T spikes are just too much? The Moon Guy scream is too much. Hmm. I suppose we have to go for Max Lightning Spam. Because... Okay. Now we Airstream on the Roost. Okay. No, but the problem... Okay, so... Okay. So if they go to... Hmm. What are they going to do? They're going to try and sacrifice the last Pokemon here. And then Lunala will have a good positioning versus Calyrex. So what I have to do is I have to not knock out Lunala. I have to not knock out... I mean, I have to, I have to try my best to not knock out whatever is coming afterwards. Uh, we'll airstream with my weakest attack. Okay? This is going to work exactly how we planned it, I think. By intentionally not killing the next Pokemon, we can now Trick Room and outspeed Lunala and Kingdra. Assuming we live the hit here. No, we die in one hit. Oh, the plan almost worked if we lived that hit. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. We move on to two and two now. Three more episodes. Three more games. If we live that hit, we had a chance. I didn't expect Kingdra to do 51. I mean, we had no choice. The, the path was correct, but it all came down to whether or not Kingdra would knock it out. That was, I didn't check if it was Life Orb or not. This is taking a long time to load. Okay. Kingdra, Calyrex, I... How much did that take? Okay, Specs does 57. So that was whatever. Okay. We do have Neutralizing Gas for... To remove the ability. Will Fire Blast? Or should we... No. I don't hate the idea of Fire Blasting. Okay, I thought we, we could dodge it. Guess not. Oh, we don't even have Rock Blast. Do we have Rock Slide? We do. 256. That would outspeed us. Um, I think we just go straight to Marowak here. Stone Edge. This doesn't run Focus Ash, right? Yeah. Oh man, if that last game happened, that would have been such a good moment to intentionally not die so I could set up Trick Room. Because I intentionally didn't use an electric or a dragon move to set up that play, but it didn't work out, unfortunately. Took a little too much damage. Would have been would have been really cool if, though if it did work. We don't die to Hurricane, and we can Stone Edge. I don't think I mean Butterfree could switch out here. Marowak is pretty bad overall, so I'm not sure you want to trade Butterfree for Marowak. You probably switch out. Okay, you do trade. Okay, I was I thought I would not hit that. Critical hit, good too. Doesn't matter, but still fun. Lucario in now. Hmm. We're pretty weak to Lucario. I suppose all I can really do is Earthquake on it. Like, we're gonna die, but yeah. Life Orb, okay. Genesect does not outspeed, but it does have Flamethrower. I think I make that trade. I make that trade Flamethrower. F I mean, damage on Genesect in exchange for damage on Lu in exchange for knocking out Lucario. I would make that trade. Yeah, Butterfree is really annoying. Anything with sleep is annoying. They go to Tauros. Okay, this can... This doesn't have Fire Blast. Should we straight up Bug Blast here? Why not? Or, okay, we can dodge. Lucky me. 
two and two, we're getting... We've had bad luck, we've had good luck. Uh, it's fine, whatever. I think we've had more good luck than bad luck so far, so I'm not too mad about anything. Pikachu... is countered by Appleton. The Volt Switch... Lucario doesn't... It's not a huge threat. Appleton can take it on. It doesn't take it on well, but it can do something about it. It can do enough damage. Let's see if they go to Lucario or not. We have two grass types, which is interesting. They do go to, they do go to Lucario here. I think we Apple Acid for damage. They do Swords Dance. Now the question is, do we... What does that do? Each Pokemon? No, I don't really care about that. Huh. I suppose I sacrifice Weezing here. I don't need to keep Apple. I don't need to let Appleton take a lot of damage. Okay. Now they. Okay, that's good. A lot of damage. Extreme speed incoming, but Skeptile can live in Giga. This worked out well overall. Two grass types. That is guaranteed good versus Pikachu, then it depends on the last two Pokemon. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, Skeptiles have put itself into good position. I don't want to substitute on a switch because we don't know if they're going to switch or not. We'll um, always Giga Drain here because they might just be looking for E-Speed KO. I mean E-Speed damage, not KO. Do, do we outspeed Pikachu? 250? We do, yeah, definitely. What am I what am I thinking? Yeah. Overgrow Giga Drain? Celestila, unfortunately. Huh. How do I deal with that? We don't have a flying immune. If I leech now, I mean I, I can go to Cincino maybe. Okay. Now Dynamax Celestila is in play. And if it has a fire move, we are in big trouble. Let's knock off one time to remove an item. Remove the leftovers, assault vest, whatever it is, we'll find out. Protect. Let's remove that item. Air slash protect. And... okay. Flash cannon. Let's try... Appleton, maybe? Let's try Appleton. Okay, so we do know Genesect can beat it. Here we go, Flamethrower. Special attack boosted, here we go. I imagine they might go to Pikachu here? Yeah. I, I could have made a predict, I wasn't feeling it though. We can always go straight to Appleton. We do have to be very careful about Dynamax Celestila. It is definitely in play, and if we do something lazy, if we do something lazy like going straight to Genesect, it's going to Flying Boost and then we're going to lose the game. We have to be really careful about that. I think I want to Leech. Ah, oh, come on, okay. I want to Leech. There we go. Get more damage. Go to Genesect again. They might predict it. Should I... Should I really do it? Should I really predict a predict here? I suppose I can Dynamax too. Yeah, I'm gonna Dynamax here too. What I really want... Yeah, exactly. I knew that- I felt like they were gonna try and make a predict and I wanted to get my health. Okay. Oh, it doesn't set up Grassy Terrain. I, I forgot. Let's guard. That did something. Okay. Lowering attack doesn't help me. Yeah, we're going to lose to Dynamax Celesteela here. In hindsight, didn't we always lose to it? If you look at our team, in hindsight, I guess we th we did have Neutralizing Gas Weezing, but in hindsight, our entire team was weak to Celesteela. Whatever. Our only hope is to dodge Air Slash, maybe? Yeah, they're going to speed boost again. I can't do anything about it. Uh, we're going to have to dodge Air Slash, that's about it. 
uh, does it matter what we do here? Leech. Yeah, unfortunate, whatever. We're gonna have to dodge Air Slash. Nope, didn't happen. Like, in hindsight, it beat our entire team. Good versus Double Grass, good versus Marowak, good versus Sinzino, good versus Weezing, good versus Genesect. Yeah, we lost on preview. Maybe I could have played, um, maybe I could have played better, but whatever. To, to, like, how could I have won that? I would have had to, I would to, I would have had to have won with Genesect before they could win with Celesteela. That would have had to be, that would have had to have been my play. But, uh, whatever. We don't have Willow, we do have the God Magirna, so it's like an auto-win button. Do I Volt straight into Pangoro? This can have Megahorn. I can go to Butterfree. Nah, that's not a good idea. We're kind of weak to Megahorn. Togedemaru, maybe? That is banded. Spiky Shield one time. They go to Marowak. That is not good. So the good news is Magirna does outspeed that. I feel like they're going to knock off here predicting Rotom. Should I Iron Head for damage? The reason I want to Iron Head for damage is to get a little bit of damage for Magirna. Yeah, because I felt, yeah, it covered the predict and it covered the situation. Uh, well, we can wish. I think Spiky Shield is kind of obvious, so we can wish predicting them to go Marowak again. Uh, Rotom looking good. Yeah, exactly. Now we can go to Rotom, and this time I don't care about getting knocked off. Stealth Rock 2, that's fine. Nasty Plot's in play. That's nothing. Should I, th should I Thunderbolt here? I want a Thunderbolt really badly. There we go, got it. I really wanted to make that play. Uh, we're two and three, right? Yeah, so three and three, hopefully, after this game. Let's see what they do here. We do have the Magirna in the back, which is amazing. They should probably try and, like, give it a different moveset, maybe? Because if somebody has a Magirna, they basically win the game. I don't think I've ever seen a Magirna lose. It's just way too good. Its Dynamax options are way too good. Then Soul Heart is amazing. They go back to Marowak. Yeah, they make another play. That's fine. Wait, if you had that the whole time, why did you ask Cavalier? Whatever. Yeah, look, Gudra, another victim to Magirna. It's just too much. Umbreon always walls it, right? Yeah. Free Toxic. At best, you can you can Draco, maybe? Yeah. Oh, okay, they have Registeel. Which I think is one of the few Magirna counters, unfortunately. We'll go to Pangoro. Banded close combat with Scrappy, who's gonna die here? Gudra might not die in one hit. Marowak is gonna die in two hits though. We do outspeed, correct? Okay. Yeah, Kyogre, um, not bad. The main problem is Magirna doesn't beat Registeel, it's like the only counter to it. This attack is gonna come in and how do we stop it? Togedemaru, maybe? Butterfree feels like something I can get rid of. It's not going to beat Registeel anyway. We'll win the speed tie? Nope. If it was Scarf, I think it would have used Water Spout, right? We'll things up. We outspeed Zerud here. Yeah, the main problem is going to be getting past Registeel. Hmm. 28 flinch, they bulk up too. We'll have to go straight to Magirna now. We'll have to Floor Cannon. Oh, they're gonna Dynamax, interesting. Do you even beat Magirna? Okay. Uh, that was a grass move, right? Rotom, I feel like I probably, the problem is Gudra, so. My match winner is gonna be Togedemaru. My match winner is going to be Togedemaru, but I think for now, I probably have to Defensive Dynamax to 
to get through the rude. Okay, we got rid of the terrain. I think we go for it again. Ah, uh, didn't work. Okay. Now we have to go for flinch. The, w spiky shield, never a good idea because they can just uh, jungle healing. They're always going to jungle healing here. We'll go for flinch. Or crit. Gudra will spiky shield one time to heal. But we do have that Reggie steal is a major problem. Okay. Flinch, 21. That's nothing. Oh, it has the perfect move too. Body press incoming. We can't do much about it. We'll go Rotom. We'll Thunderbolt for damage. Maybe get a Paralysis on Gudra or straight up just damage. That's fine. Okay. Mr. Pangoro, close combat. And flinching time. Flinch? No. Uh, the one time we have Magearna, it's- I mean, though, like, we get Magearna into Registeel, unfortunately. It's not like- like, if- like, it wasn't like we had a bad matchup. GG, we do lose, we go to 2 and 4 now. It wasn't like we had a bad matchup, but we could have played better with Pangoro, probably. Yeah, we should have played better with Pangoro. That's definitely what we should have done. Well, it, I guess some of it is hindsight. There's no way of knowing Pangoro would be that good. Yeah, so even though we did have Registeel, Pangoro should have done better. Alright, two and four. Let's end strong. We do have Choice Scarf Xerneas. I'll go straight to it. That might have been a bad idea. Not a terrible idea. I mean, we didn't have a switch into Ice Beam, so it's okay. Big picture. What's their rating? Can we end strong? They're 2181. We won't get a lot of points for winning here. We do have really good Pokemon. We have Alakazam, we have Dragonite, Belossum is fun too. Not versus Kiram, but overall it's fun. Marowak is interesting if you can get a Flame Charge up, and that's a really big if. I believe Kiram outspeeds anyway, but... Ooh, they're gonna give us damage on Kiram. Special attack drop. Oh, they were probably scared of... Ah, I was gonna say... I was gonna say that they're probably scared of Geomancy. Which is why they had to Ice Beam there, unfortunate. Oh, they're gonna give me Mudsdale too? Don't give me Mudsdale. Are you gonna... Ah, oh, don't, don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Okay. Oh, I didn't notice we didn't have a Grass move. Unfortunate. They might Heavy Slam here too. I have to go straight back to Belossum probably. Do we have Moonblast on Belossum? We don't even have that. Whatever. Let's Stun Sport. If they Heavy Slam, they Heavy Slam. I want to hit something good with Stun Spore. It'll be good for Alakazam. If I hit something... Not Mudsdale, if I hit... Okay, good. This is great for Alakazam. Uh, should I go straight to Marowak? Yeah, I'm gonna go straight to Marowak. I do not care if Marowak dies because it's never gonna be beat Mudsdale Kyurem anyway. Yeah, okay, worked out. Let's double Flare Blitz into the Mudsdale. We do outspeed. Yeah, let's double Flare Blitz into the Mudsdale here. Or Flare Blitz and then Belossum, which is an idea. Big damage. Now we'll go to Belossum here. Uh, Giga Drain. Let's try and hit Kyurem with the Sleep Powder. I feel like they might be scared of Moonblast. Even though we don't have it, they should be scared of it. We'll Quiver. Quiver is always the best play. Yeah. Mudsdale might have Toxic. No, it doesn't. Okay, that's good to know. Heavy Slam, maybe? Not too strong. Let's Giga. Okay, this is good. We've removed Mudsdale, which is good for Dragonite. Kyurem comes in. We cannot touch it, but we can Sleep Powder it. Oh, they're going to Dynamax. They don't... Oh, no, we we get outsped. I didn't even notice that. Got it. That's great. Uh, Whimsicott, maybe? Um, I mean, now is not the right time. Let's, we'll, we'll heal, and then maybe go to Whimsicott? We've wasted the Dynamax, which is good. 
Should I- no wait, can, can I quiver straight through Kiram? Like, can I just max it out? I, I risk freeze and I risk crit. Let's see if I can max it out though. Okay, hold. I risk freeze and I risk crit. How much does this even do? Versus the pressure, Kiram. I have to be careful about PP is why I, is why I mentioned that, but... Can Blossom just run through? I do have the Dynamax in my pocket if I need to. I wonder if... 36? Not bad. Um... Let's just keep going. We'll go for more. Okay. This is... A Belossum is 1v1-ing a Kiram. Only in random battles. You'll, you'll never you'll never hear that outside of random battles. GG. We end 3 and 4. We go back to 2200. So at least we're staying afloat. We're not going too far down. Thank you guys for watching. And hopefully we end net positive, not net negative in the next episode.